Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In this lesson we'll start working on the about page. Now we created the about page in an earlier lesson and we applied the main template to that page. So we should already have the about page in our site folder. Just before we begin to edit that one I'm going to look at the finished version so that we can see what we're aiming for. This is the finished about page and you can see that the top part looks very similar to the index page that we've been working on. We've got a slightly different animation effect on the banner and that's also holding some different photos. But if I scroll down, the content section is now split into two columns. So we've got this left side and that holds just a couple of pictures there. And then we've got this right hand side with some text and a larger image. And if we scroll right down the bottom of the page, again, we can see these three boxes that we created for our index page. But again, the content for this is slightly different. So this is what we're going to start to work on now. And we'll begin with setting up the two columns for the content area. So let's minimize this one and go back to Dreamweaver. And just before we start, I just want to take a look at the about page in our site folder and what it looks like at this time. So I've selected the file in the files panel and I'm just going to press F12 to open that one up. So this is what we've got so far. We've got a static banner at the moment. We haven't applied any animation to that just yet. And if I scroll down, you'll see that the content area just holds a title and a couple of paragraphs of text. And underneath that, we've got our three boxes, but as yet, there's no content included in those. I'm going to leave this page open in the browser so that we can keep coming back to it as we work on our code and preview it in this browser. So I'll minimize that for now and we'll come back to Dreamweaver and open up the about HTML file. So I'm looking at the file in code view and I'm going to scroll down until we get to the content area. And at the moment, the content area stretches right across the page. Now, we're using the content area on a number of pages, and we don't want to make any changes to how that looks, otherwise it will affect those other pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two new divs above this content area. So I'm just going to click before the content div and hit the return key a few times to give us a little bit of space to work with. So the content section of this page is laid out in two columns. So what we're going to do is to create two divs, one for each of those columns. So we'll start by opening up a div tag and we'll give this an ID of left side. And we'll close that div. And again, we'll place a comment there and we can copy one of the comments that we've got on our other divs and just edit that. So that is the end of the left side. So that's our first div. One more to go and that's the right side. So we'll set up a div for that. So there we go, we've got our two divs set up. Now we've got two choices here. We can start to add some content within these areas, or we can go straight to CSS and start to format the way that they look. I always think it's best to put some content in first before we start formatting, and that way that content will help us to give a feel for how the page is being laid out. 
So we'll begin by starting to add some content to these areas. So this is the left side div and I'm just going to switch over to the finished version and this is the area that we're working on at the moment and this area has just got two images in it. So we've inserted images before so we should know now what to do. We'll come back to the left side and we'll indent slightly and we'll open up an image tag. We need a source and we'll browse for the file and the file that we want to start with is going to be in the image folder and if I scroll down we're looking for the image called stream and there it is and if you're using your own images again these are the dimensions of that file so I'll say OK and we'll finish this off with a space a forward slash and a closing angle bracket let's save that and let's just go back to our page that we're working on in the browser and let's just refresh that so there we go we've got that image that's appeared on our page there's one more image underneath it so let's go back to Dreamweaver and we'll place that second image in there and this image is called lights so we'll select that and say OK and we'll save at that point and let's switch back and preview so we'll refresh and there we go we've got the second image come in now at the moment the images are side by side but when we start to format this with CSS everything will fall into place OK, let's go back to Dreamweaver and let's now start working on the right side. So I'll click in between the opening and closing div of the right side. We'll press tab and we've actually already got a title here in the content area and we're not going to be using it twice. So I'm going to copy that H1 tag and we'll place it within that right side div. So I can place it there and we'll tidy that up a little bit and we'll just add the word photography to that and now we don't need this H1 heading down here so I'll highlight that and delete it now the next thing on that right side was a paragraph of text now if you've downloaded the files that accompany this and you've got the assets folder there's a text file in there so I'm just going to switch over to Windows Explorer here so this is my assets folder and inside that we've got a subfolder called scripts if I open that one up we've actually got the page text for the about page included in the assets and it's just a text document if I open that one up you can see that this is the text that's going to appear on the page so we've got our two paragraphs of text and we've also got the content for the boxes that we'll include later on I'm just going to highlight one of the paragraphs of text up here. These two paragraphs are actually identical. So I've highlighted one and I'm going to copy that and then we'll switch back to Dreamweaver. So just underneath our heading in there we'll start off a P tag and we've opened it so we'll close it straight away. Then we'll position our cursor just in between the two and we can paste that text that we just copied so there it is it's come in between the P tags and let's just save that and have a look to see what it looks like at the moment so we'll come up to file and save and we'll switch back to our preview and we'll refresh so there it is we've got our paragraph of text we don't actually need these two paragraphs down here anymore so we'll get rid of those as well so let's switch back to Dreamweaver and these are the two paragraphs of text that we no longer need so I'll just highlight those and delete them okay let's just have another quick look at the finished item we've got our heading in we've inserted that at the top this is the paragraph of text that we've just placed in there and underneath that we've got a larger picture 
and then some more text underneath. So we'll put those in now. I'll minimize this and go back to Dreamweaver. Our picture is going to come in just underneath that paragraph of text. So I'll make myself some space. And again, this is simply inserting an image. So we'll open an image tag. And the image we want this time is called River. And if I scroll down, there it is. So I'll click on that one. And again, dimensions of this one slightly different. This is a larger picture. I'll say OK to that. And then we'll finish that image tag off. We'll come down a line and we'll simply copy this paragraph of text from here and paste that in just underneath. So now we've got our H1, our heading, our paragraph of text, the image, and then another final paragraph of text. So we'll save this and we'll switch back to our browser and let's refresh that. So there's our image and we've got our paragraph of text above and below that image. So that's our content for these two areas inserted. And now all we need to do is to format the divs to make it look more like the finished page. And we'll start working on that in the next lesson. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.